Hi friends, I'm glad to be back with you all on the other 167. You know, I was once on a panel and we were interviewing someone for a leadership position. Among the many questions and answers that took place, there is one that I remember very clearly. We asked the candidate if in her previous employment, there was ever a time that their plans had bombed. In short, was there ever a time when things did not turn out the way they planned and they had to do things in an absolutely different way. In short, they had to do a course correction. She responded that there was never a moment that things did not turn out the way they should have. And in fact, things always were controlled and they always happened the way she had planned. Now, this response was really surprising to us as a panel. And we were concerned about perhaps the lack of proper introspection. Albert Einstein once said, a person who never made a mistake, never tried anything new. Indeed, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to fail. It's okay if our plans have bombed. Life is uncertain and things always may not go as we plan. In fact, only God knows what lies ahead. We are subject to uncertainty and are on a journey figuring things out along the way. This thought should actually humble us and bring us to the ground. We must all learn to introspect. We must learn to look at our past and think critically about it. When we look back, when we reflect, we tend to become conscious of the mistakes we've made in the past but never realized. We become aware of alternate options that we've had but never really excite. We become sensitive to more perspectives than the ones we've held in the past. It is a very good suggestion to sit down at the end of the day and look back. Is there, is there something that you did well? Thank God for it. Thank God for the opportunity. Thank God for his providence. Thank him for his grace, for his wisdom. Is there something that did not go well? List down the ways it could be done differently or improved upon in future. Is there something you regret about? Pray for the grace to overcome it, for the courage to make good any losses that anyone had to face on your account. Is there a creative inspiration bubbling in your head? Write it down and share it with someone you know. Socrates said, an unexamined life is not worth living. So should we wait till the end of life to examine it? We don't know when the end would come, right? And so we would just keep postponing. In fact, the right time to examine is now, today, every day, perhaps every few days, maybe at least once a week. You know, instead of examining others, let's examine ourselves. And there are many good things that can come out when we examine ourselves. When you look back at what God has done in your life, you can come up with a wonderful testimony. When you look back at your academics, your achievements, your experience, your professional caliber, you come up with a professional profile, like a good resume. When you look back at your relationships and at the people who got you to where you are today, you become aware that you're surrounded by a wonderful community. You feel loved, you feel accepted. When you look back at your biggest blunders, you remember the biggest lessons you've learned in your life. We should not look back to just look back, but we look back with an intention to leap forward. When we examine ourselves, let's not get stuck in the past. Let's remember we are looking back to find the courage and draw the lessons to, to push forward, to move forward with greater agility, with more strength. When we look back, let's not just look back alone, but look back hand in hand with the Lord. Look back, look back and ask God to give us his perspective. Pray these wonderful words from the book of Psalms. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me and 
lead me in the way everlasting. Essentially, we are asking God to help us examine our hearts better. Once again, look at the verses. It's, we, we ask the Lord to examine our hearts so that we can, so that He can lead us in the everlasting path. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Let this be our prayer. Let this be your prayer today. Let this be your prayer every day. Thanks for being with me. And I'll see you again on The Other 167. Like, share, subscribe. Till we meet again, God bless and bye-bye.